It's time to head to the nursery and you might be looking for either annuals, perennials, or perhaps both. But what is the difference between an annual and a perennial? An annual completes its life cycle in one growing season. That means it's going to germinate, grow vegetation, flower, produce a seed, and then die all within one year. So why would you buy a plant that you know is going to die? Well, you see, we really like annuals because they provide us with consistent color from the time we plant them out to the garden to the time they die later on in the season. In fact, we often reference annuals as the color in the garden or bedding plants. Annuals tend to be a little bit cheaper than perennials because you have to buy them and replant them every season. Now, a lot of times when we reference annuals, we're referring to warm season annuals such as zinnias and marigolds. We can plant them out in the garden after the last concern of frost, usually around mid-April, and they'll continue to provide that color to us into the fall. There are, however, cool season annuals such as sweet alyssum and pansies. These can be planted in the fall or in the spring to provide you that color. Perennials are plants that live longer than two years, hopefully anyway. They may reproduce a seed every year, or it may take several years for them to reproduce. But you know that they're going to come back year after year. So they're an investment in your garden. Now, perennials don't typically bloom quite as long as our annuals do. So you have to know a little bit more about perennials. They'll continue to reproduce. So this allows you to divide them and incorporate them in other places of your garden or share them with your friends. Now notice we defined annuals and perennials based off of their life cycle, not based off of their hardiness. And sometimes if we do use the word perennial based off of hardiness, this can be misleading and confusing. A perennial in Texas may not mean that it's going to return for us here in Oklahoma where it's a little bit cooler. To identify a plant's hardiness, you really want to refer to the USDA cold hardiness map. This map divides the U.S. into 26 zones based off of the average coldest temperatures. Plants are assigned a cold hardiness number based off of its ability to tolerate the cold winter months. In Oklahoma, we go from a hardiness zone of 8A down in the far southeast corner of the state where the average cold temperature is between 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit to 6A in the far northwest corner of the state where the average cold temperature is negative 5 to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, plants that may be hardy in southeastern Oklahoma may not survive in northwest Oklahoma. To ensure that you're getting a truly hardy plant, Find one that is hardy below the number of your given location to better ensure its survivability. For example, most of the middle of Oklahoma, including Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and Stillwater, is Zone 7A. If we buy plants that are hardy to 5 or 6, we know that they should be easily able to survive even the coldest Oklahoma winters. Now keep in mind this map is just referencing the average coldest temperatures and there's many other factors that can influence a plant's hardiness such as the moisture and the sun exposure. So to recap, annuals are plants that complete their life cycle in one year. They tend to be a little bit cheaper but they'll provide us with color throughout the growing season. Perennials are plants that typically live at least two years or longer. Now they don't bloom quite as often or quite as long as annuals, but they allow us to discover something new in our garden throughout the growing season. Keep in mind, however, that a perennial will only truly return if it's hardy to your zone according to the USDA zone map. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.